Hey, how's it going everyone? So what am I working on now? Well, I got a 2000 Chevy Avalanche. A two th yeah, no. 2007 Chevy Avalanche uh, with a 5.3. A uh, customer's complaint is an oil leak. And supposedly they had the oil pan gasket replaced already. And I can see that it looks like the oil pan has been off of this. Uh, but it does have a pretty substantial oil leak. Let's see what we got. All right, so here, as you see from underneath, that oil drip in there. If you look up towards the starter, there's oil all up in there. It's hanging off the sway bar here. I pulled, there's a little tin cover that goes there in the bell housing. I pulled it off to look up inside, but I don't see anything of consequence up in there. Now, one thing that a lot of people mistake, and I can actually see some wetness right there. I don't know if you can. Hold on. See the silver thing in there? It's actually wet. But is, is the wetness of consequence? Is it like something substantial? Let me just put this back. I'm going to let this down. I'm going to look from up top. But what I wanted to talk to you about, one mistake a lot of people make on these Chevy 5.3s, 4.8s, 6 liters, 6.2s, where the remaining seal is, there's actually a plate that mounts to the back of the motor that butts up to the bottom of the oil pan. That gasket starts to leak. Whenever I do a rear main seal on these, I either get a gasket or I see if an entire plate with a seal is already available, and then I just install that. That may be what's going on here. It may be coming from up top too, I don't know yet. Oops, the compressor's not on, I can't let my lift down. Let me go turn the compressor on. The release mechanism is air operated, and that releases the locks on the lift. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it down, I'm going to take the engine cover off, and I'm going to look at the back of the motor to see if I can see anything back there. It's kind of hard, difficult to get to the back of the motor on these, so I'm going to probably have to use a mirror. Let me do that first and see if I see anything, and then I'll show you. Because if I do see something, then obviously I'll show you that. But if I don't see anything, you know, what's the point of trying to get back there with a mirror and everything else to see when it is quite difficult? As you can see, there's like no room back there so let me see if I can't see something can just see the oil pressure switch right there and it's dry so what I can see here is all dry so I'm not really sure where the oil is coming from another thing too is may have to take the cross member out to lower the back of the tranny down so you get a better view of the top of the engine here because I'm not seeing anything right now let's put it back up in the air all right, so back up in the air. I cleaned everything off with brake clean. Now I'm gonna wait to see if I can see where, see it, where stuff is coming from. One thing is behind the starter there. You look in that corner. See that gray thing? That's a crank sensor. I'm gonna pay close attention to that. See if possibly it's leaking. I doubt it. I've never seen one leak before, but anything's possible. So let me just let this go for a while. See if I can't see anything fresh popping through. All right, literally that took three minutes and it's already leaking out. And I believe it's coming from the corner of that plate. Like I said, if you look, it's very hard to see. Let me see if I can get up there at a different angle. Can you see the, the back edge? That's a starter bolt right there. That's the end of the oil pan. If you look just above it, in that little opening, that's the plate that I'm telling you about. I'd be willing to bet that the gasket split. Or the gasket just, you know, dried up or whatever. Or the bolts loosened up, it's possible too. But transmission's gonna have to come out. It's, there's no wetness above it. I could look from, if I go all the way to the back here, and I look up, and yeah, it's got a tranny leak too, but if you look, But I could, you can't see it through the camera eye, but I could see the back of the motor from the right angle. And it's not wet up there, so it's definitely coming from that plate. So transmission is going to have to come out. <sighs> Obviously, it's not something that we're going to wind up doing today. I've seen that plate leak more often than the rear main seal. So. 
like I said, it's not something we're going to do today, though. So, all right. Well, hopefully you learned something on how to diagnose an oil leak on one of these things. I've actually never seen an oil pan leak on one of these things. It's always been that plate or at the corner of that plate. Oh, another great leak point on these motors is this. That right there. That is where, if this thing had an oil cooler, that's where the oil cooler lines would attach. That gasket leaks all the time. They have those available in the parts store. I've done, I've done quite a few of those. So that's just something to keep in mind. There's your knock sensor in case you're wondering about where that's located on these motors. They used to be up in the valley of the motor. They changed them to over here in later models, like this one. All right, so that's going to end this video. Uh, hopefully you got something out of that. If you did, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep wrenching.